Hey YouTube, this is Dan from Dronetastic. I'm um, about to do another video here. Uh, I just had a conversation with my producer, wife, um, or is it wife, producer? We had a discussion, um, and one of the things she mentioned is that I should probably be asking everyone to like, share, comment, and subscribe, right? If I don't get comments from you guys, I'm not sure what you want to see next. Uh, and I'd like to please my audience, so, uh, you know, if you could do those things, great. Uh, looking forward to, uh, looking forward to it. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today are, uh, these little guys. You've probably seen these, uh, you can get them for four for eight dollars on Amazon. Um, they are essentially a voltage tester for a lipo, and they'll scream at you if you hit a, uh, if you fall below a certain voltage. So you plug this thing in like this, and your metal contact pieces are almost always going to come forward on this towards the, facing the same way as the display. And you just slide it in. It'll tell you what's going on there. And I can't see this, but you should see it cycling through a total voltage, followed by a voltage for each cell. Uh, and that'll give you an idea of whether or not the battery is fully balanced. This is not, this is a storage charged battery, uh, so it shouldn't be showing anything spectacular. Yeah, we are in storage charge with this. Um, and this is just a nice way for checking out your batteries and make sure that they're in good shape. Uh, before you fly, after you fly, just to make sure you haven't fully discharged or over discharged the battery, which is also bad. Um, now, one of the things that I like to do with this, uh, with the bigger airplanes, I don't worry about it so much because you have a wing, right? You have your fixed wing, you're flying close to where you're going to be. Uh, I don't typically use these on my aircraft just because. Um, I'll usually run the engine at full throttle, find out how long that's going to be, realize I'm going to use some kind of mixed flight instead of full throttle, and I'll add a couple of minutes to the timer or maybe back off a couple just so that I can get it in, depending on the aircraft or whatever. But with a fixed wing, again, you have the ability to recover from a total battery failure. Um, right? Like you just run out and the speed controllers say, oh, sorry, your voltage is too low, you hit the cutoff. And uh, if you're flying a drone, it falls right out of the sky. So, um, one of the things that I'm about to do, right, when you put your battery in something like this, this is a big battery for this frame, I admit that. Uh, but if you put your battery on here like this, and you're going to run your strap over the top and all that good stuff, uh, your strap may be big enough for the battery, but you can't really tuck this in along the side where it shows or any place like that. So, um, what I'm going to do today is what I do with most of the things that I would attach to an aircraft. Uh, since I use all the hook side, right, when you use Velcro, there's hooks and there's loops, and this is the hook side on that battery. Um, so I figure if I'm going to use something like this, uh, I should put the loop side on it because it's always going to be attached to the battery for a drone like this, something that doesn't have ESCs that uh, will do a volt, low voltage cutoff um, that I can reliably get to. So I'm going to take this Velcro, which was also on Amazon, which is not very expensive. Um, it came with uh, hooks, a hook and loop loop or a roll of, uh, <laughs> of Velcro. So I'm just going to put that right on the back there, this thing. And now, I should be able to take that Velcro, pop that right on the battery, and it's not going anywhere. That's it. She stays on. And so that's good stuff. Now, I can lift the battery with it, so I know she's not going anywhere in flight. And uh, really, it's about the mass of this that I have to worry about. And now, I can mount it near the front, like so. And then I pop my pop my thing on. Let's just see if I can get a better view of that. There we go. And then that'll do it. So that'll give me voltage. Now the best part about this is you can set by pushing the button on the top the voltage at which it will scream about low voltage. So I'm just going to kind of cycle through here. I got 3.5 volts. It, by all rights, it should be screaming now. 
see, what is it set to? Yeah, we're at 3.6. Okay, so this isn't necessarily going to scream for me today and show you what I'm talking about, but when your battery, if you're running one of these, when your battery drops below the voltage on the alarm setting that you set, so it was at 3. Point, what was it, 3.5? 3.7 now it's at 3.7 volts which is a good voltage to stop using your battery at typically um, it puts you right at storage voltage everything is beautiful at that point you don't even need to run a storage charge on your battery if you do it this way unless your cells start to fall out of uh, out of whack um, but the benefit to this setting is when you set it to 3.7 or 3.6 as you're flying around when the voltage sags uh, due to extra power being added, you know, you, you're full up on the throttle, you're going to draw a lot of amps that causes voltage sag on the battery, and this will start to scream at you. The minute this starts screaming, you know it's time to start planning your descent, return to home, any of those things. Um, and for most of us, if we're flying FPV, like for me anyway, I'm a newbie, um, you, I'm going to be pretty close anyway, so I'll hear this thing screaming at me, plus I have the timer on my controller as a backup. Uh, I have an idea, I got about, um, I got about 22 minutes of, I'd say 20 minutes of safe flight time with this 5100 milliamp hour 3S battery on this drone. Uh, if I'm using a 2250, I can expect 10 minutes of safe flight but it'll keep going for 12 before the battery starts to warm up. So that gives me two minutes to bring it in and take care of it all. And it's all thanks to this little guy. It's a little voltage tester, it's a screamer. Uh, just bring it up close so you can see it. Um, just Google LiPo voltage tester on Amazon and you'll find these all day. And like I said, they're about $2.50 a piece. They're, they're cheap insurance. Uh, that's well worth it. You know, nothing, nothing beats getting it down before gravity does that for you. Uh, at which point your, your uh, expenditures on repairs will be high. Uh, I was hoping this is good, this is a helpful uh, thing for you today. Uh, I'm glad to bring it to you uh, once again. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Uh, do it again like share comment and subscribe please uh, i'd love again to hear what uh you'd like to see next and uh we'll talk to you soon you guys have a great one take care